PLC Fiddle has an interactive playground where one can test their PLC code and visually see what is happening. I'm going to go over a quick demo today on how to get a green light to turn on five sec for five seconds once a button is pushed. So this is the default window when it pops up. I'm going to start by get, getting rid of everything so I can start from a fresh, uh, fresh slate. So now that it is empty, I am forced going to add all the variables that I want to work with. So I'm going to have a start button. I'm going to have a stop button. I'm going to have a running state. I'm going to have a timer. I'll just call it T1 for timer one. And now I'm going to actually go through and change it from a Boolean to actually a timer. Now I'll add it. And then I will want a green Boolean variable to represent the light. So there are the variables I'll be working with today. Now my stop button is going to be a normally closed switch. So in the default, it will be on. My start button will be a normally open switch. So in the start state, it will be off. Uh, running will start off as off. T1, uh, you can set up the timer one down here. So you can see the enable bit, timer timing, and the Q bit are off. Notice the Q bit is what has been called in class the DN bit. So Q and DN are the same. It is the bit that will go high when the timer is done timing. The accumulator is a current value of inside the timer, and the preset value is the timer or the value that we want the timer to say it's done once it reaches. So we're going to set that at five. Notice that we are not able to change the base timing of the timer in this program. So this program always counts in seconds. So five will mean this counter will count for five seconds. And there's our green light at the very bottom. So I'm going to start by adding a couple rungs and then I'll go to my contacts. So when, a little trick, when you're adding things from the screen, grab on the line and drop off on the line. And that's a little easier. If you grab up at the top, you have to somehow line up the things and it gets a little hard. So make sure to grab on the line and drop on the line. So I'm going to make this little thing real quick. When you want to add something in parallel, that's what this is right here. So I'm going to add in parallel right there. Let's see. There we go. And I'm going to have another contact here. And then I have a coil, also known as an output, over here. Oops. You do not need to worry about uh, these types of coils. These stand for latch and unlatch. That's outside of the scope of this class. So now that I have my first rung set up, I'm going to go through and say that when the start button is pressed or the machine is already running and the stop button is not pressed, then I want the machine to be running. So that is my first rung of the tree. My second rung, I'm going to work on the timer. So I'm going to insert the another contact and a timer. I am choosing to use a TON is what we've been calling it, or a timer on delay timer as they are calling it. I'm going to make sure I have it set up to connect to T1. And I'm going to have this connect to running. So when running, start and run the T1 timer. Notice that this doesn't show the output bits, but they are still all right here. So when my final rung, I'm going to have an input. So what's what you could call an input and an output. My input is going to be timer one timing. So while timer one is timing, I want the green light to be on. And there it is. So now that I have my program written, now I can see what will happen. 
So as soon as I turn on the start button, notice that the green light turned on. And as we're waiting, five seconds passed, and now the green light turned off. And I can go and turn, unclick my start button, turn off this machine, so hit the stop button, and now I can re quote unquote release it, and now I can do it all over again. So as soon as I click the start button, notice the green light once again turns on for five seconds, and then it will turn off after five seconds has passed. Uh, so there's just a quick little tutorial. I hope this is helpful.